Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Biking and Blabbing. I'm Cycling Mike, and uh, hopefully this phone doesn't fall off because I can't get any tape right now. Because, you know, I can't really let people know I'm doing this because you know, it's just going to cause drama. People find out I'm making these videos. They're like, it's dangerous! But I'm just like scooping it back on here so it doesn't fall off. But if it falls off at any point during the uh, show, just know it will stay in the video and, uh, you know, just, uh, just hang with me. Anyway, I, uh, I'm sorry I wasn't, actually that's actually why I wasn't on last week or didn't have a video upload last week because, uh, my phone case got thrown away because it was broken. So, uh... I, uh, because, you know, I beat the hell out of it. Four years of phone case is going to go through war with me. And, uh, but now I got a new phone case. It's okay. It doesn't screenshot as well as I'd like it to. And, of course, it moves. It's, like, too smooth. Like, the other one was, like, rough. So if you put it somewhere, it would stay when moving. But this one's doing okay. It's sliding a little, but as long as I just move my index finger. If I got my index finger, it pushes it. started. I, uh, I will say that the thing I trolled on was, uh, was Meet Me. And I highly regret that now. And the reason, not only the reason I trolled was because of unhappiness, but I also trolled because it was an application that I had on my phone that I didn't really know why I had it on my phone. Like, that is such a, I just want to say, going forward, my, my actions were terrible when I was doing my trolling there. But, in all fairness, I, that application could be so much more than it is. It could be, it could be a completing, a, not completing, a competing platform with Twitch and YouTube um, and other streaming sites. And it's not, it's, it's, just, it, it's just there to give people a hard time and have chats and battles with them. And I don't understand what people are tipping them for. They're just talking. You know, I tried making a drawing stream. I was... I didn't always impress everybody. And at some point, I'm assuming I will go back to that drawing stream. I was, uh... It's just, uh... My regular name, but it was... The name of the stream was entitled Mike's Messy Masterpieces. And I, uh... a day and I get people in and I'm a draw but I had to do all these battles and really you know battle people and I did these crazy things where I had like these characters that I drew that were you know badly drawn and I would give them voices and the voices would be pretty okay but it was all just an attempt to try and like entertain people and I have to say that like I made a creative attempt at that and I just thought the Granted, I did get the karma that I, you know, deserved in the sense that I had people that were, you know, the rassholes. And, but I just, I was just looking at all these streamers and I, the majority of them, and even the, even some of the ones that were popular, I'm like, they're doing nothing. They're just talking to people. There's no talent in talking to people. It's, you know, I mean, obviously I'm on here making a vlog and I'm trying to talk to you, but there's, there's, 
you know, I'm, I have a topic, I'm biking while I'm doing it, I have a theme in my channel, so there's creativity involved, but it's like, it's just, you're just talking to people live, and you're changing the conversation, you know, each one of these videos does have a, I try to have a topic that I'm talking about when I'm blabbing, so I'm not just blabbing about anything, and, um, it just, I just found it such a creativeless platform, and that the people that were on the plat the platform itself could have done a lot of things. I know there's other platforms like this, and I don't know how much better or how much worse they are, but they could have done a lot of things to, you know, make it better. I mean, yes, there were attractive model girls on there, and I tried using it like a dating site, just to work that way. It's not really a dating platform. I didn't get it, you know, I don't get what they're, like YouTube as a platform, YouTube is smart, Google, bought, YouTube knew, saw the potential, you know, saw the value in their, in their, in their YouTubers, in the, in their, in their broadcasters, that's what I'm and, and did something about it.
And I will say, I know there's a no swearing rule, and I'm trying to abide by that, but I do not find swearing offensive. I just want to point that out. Swearing in general. If you're swearing at somebody, then that's a different story. Um, so then we get to... Then we get to my banning experience, where I have to, where I have to be the one in charge of banning people, as opposed to being banned. And... couple, they're ex-friends of my dad, and I went through a lot of drama with them back, my dad went through a lot of drama with them back in 2018, and um, I started a, I, I should preface this by saying I started a Dr. Who group on Facebook called The Groupless, and if you're interested in joining that, while you're listening to this video, please, uh, please come and join it, I know my my trolling history, you might say, oh, I don't want to bring this his group, he's going to lose his shit while running the group, and I'm, I'm telling you I'm not going to do that. But, um, I started a Dutch group, and I, I asked Facebook friends who aren't a part of the group if they had any, um, well, not some of them, one of them is, or two of them are, but, uh, you know, just all the Facebook friends, you know, do you have any ideas for my group, and, you know, uh, if you run a group, what, what has helped grow it, you know, what activities have worked, what activities haven't worked, you know, just sort of advice like that. So, I got a response from the, from the wife of this couple, and she, uh, she said, oh, you should have advertising on I don't know about you, but the last thing I want to do is have, you know, read a Facebook advertisement, let alone you read one, you know. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't know if that's such a good idea, you know, it's like, I would consider it if I could make money off of it, but she's like, no, you can't. So we had this very, very vanilla discussion, very uh, professional and calm discussion about advertising, it's something I consider while, while commenting and talking with her in the comments, and and I came to a decision while after talking to her, I decided, you know, if I can't make any money off the advertisers, and that's what, you know, Facebook makes money off of, I don't want to have advertising on my page, so I declined her ideas, and thanks, but no, you know, this is not something I want to do. Advertising was not would not have been the only would not have been the only suggestion I would have said no to. So I uh, I said no to that and and I said thank you and, and, and I was very nice about it. And then her husband gets on and he starts giving me this whole riot act about my the fact that I live in my parents and my, my, my life choices and how they're not going to be my support system anymore and how, um, you know, they're with the and how, like, I should listen to his wife because she's always right and how, you know, I need to change my spelling and grammar on Facebook. I mean, just all this shit that was really not, other than the listen to his wife, none of it was, none of it was about the post. You know, I don't have the greatest grammar in the world. I'm fine with that. You know, I'm working on that. It's not, it's going to be a slow moving process in terms of Michael and his great grammar. And, but I just thought the whole, like, bringing up my living situation was not necessary, especially in the sense that all I did was decline his wife on her suggestion. I'm not saying I don't want to be your friend anymore. I wasn't going to say that I don't love, you know, that I don't like her, or I wasn't trying to be, trying to be an asshole to her. And so he goes off on me, and I just decided, you know, I think I'm done. I think, after, oh, and by the way, I will also say that we had a mutual friend die, um, back in September. And it was hard on a lot of people. And I, uh, sharing stories about him. 
and well, I should say I started a lot of people, myself included, and I was sharing stories about my my time with them. And every story I shared, the two of them, either one or both, would want to know where they were or how they were a part of that story. And that really pissed me off because the story, even if they were there at the event or near me when I was uh, talking to our friend Joe, it wasn't a story about them. It was a story about my time with Joe. And I didn't appreciate that either. I thought that was really selfish of them, especially considering these are people you know, that I'm not the only person giving memories. They're giving memories about them too, along with other people. And I sort of felt like I was targeted um, in my memory giving. And there were, there was a time where, where the person was sitting at the same table as, as Joe. And um, I didn't mention them in the post and I don't really regret that. Um, because I was showing that they were making buttons and I was showing how these were the buttons that he made. And again, I don't feel bad that I didn't mention them in the post because I just wanted to show, I didn't tell the story about how he sat at the table. I just said that he made these buttons. And again, directing it about him. And I got a lot of great comments on my, uh, my honesty about my time with him. And I still have some things to share in terms of uh, uh, things I experienced with him and whatnot. I'll share it at some point once, you know, election shit is over and whatever, you know. And, um, so that was a lot of, that was also a part of why I banned them because I was, I felt that what they, their replies were very, they were very disappointed that the story I was telling had nothing to do with them. And I thought it was disgusting and disrespectful to the deceased. And I, it really bothered me. And I gave him another try. I didn't ban him then. I was like, you know, whatever. That's just typical them being rude. But then when the who thing came up, and I get these sort of Ten Commandments by the by the husband, I was like, fuck this, I'm done, you know. And I I have banned somebody on Facebook before. Well, I banned I banned family members. Most of the reason for that was because I'm such a kind of a family outcast, and I sort of was like, well, you know, I have this real thing about like I don't know. Sometimes I feel like the love I am told I I you know other people have for me, it feels like it's pretend love, it's not actually real. Um, but then when the pandemic hit, I decided, you know what, I don't know I'm going to see these people again, I'm just going to friend all of them. And that's with the one exception of the rule. And the one exception is just something they posted on their page, nothing on mine. It's been pretty good. Um, that's been really, really good. If they can all put up with my ridiculously dirty humor and off-colored, well, not, you know, just, just, you know, really in-your-face things said about certain people, and, you know, just, if they can put up with all that, then everything's cool. If they can't, well, then I'm sorry. Who the hell up? I don't have to be anything offensively. I will say the people I did ban, um, the, the couple I banned, they were really helpful, uh, the wife was really helpful, and I, I wrote a post a few weeks back. Um, she was on me about it, and I, uh, I regret it and realized that the post I was writing about was really, uh, sounded racist, so I got rid of it. Um, I'm not a racist. I, I don't mean to sound racist at any point in time. I apologized for that. So, again, and I, I'm very guilty at times of talking about things I have absolutely no experience. And I try not to do that, you know, well, let's see, I, I talk about protesting a lot, or I have, and I don't really talk about parenting that much. Um, I, I guess the only thing I talk
talked about that was really not okay was, was the race thing. I, 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 I apologize for my opinions on my, the Black Lives Matter movement before, which I, I believe I mentioned at an earlier time before George Floyd's passing, that I thought the moment was rhetorical, that it was, that it was obvious that their lives mattered. Not so much that I was an all lives matter guy, just that it was it was obvious. And I realize now it's not obvious to the rest of the nation. Even knowing about the talk and things like that, I still thought it was an obvious thing. Um, and I apologize for my feelings on that and how I know that it's not the case anymore. Nor was the case when I thought it was the case. So my opinions change, and I apologize for them, but I don't, I, I regret what I said, or I regret my, I regret my previous opinion about that, but I'm glad I had that so I could have the change, I'm glad at the time I was blunt and honest about how I felt, um, and I, uh, I think my, uh, I think in some ways my white privilege is something I take for granted, and I am sorry about that, and I don't try and gloat about the fact that I am white and have white privilege, but I, uh, I will I just, just say that they were helpful in that matter, and they were right. And that was an instance where they're correct. And yeah, the husband's correct that I have bad grammar. But I felt that for the post I was writing, which had nothing to do with anything political at all, or anything um, racial, or anything involving spirituality, anything that would differ from people's opinions, just a post asking people what their ideas or opinions would be to get group members active and in order to gain group members. And none of it, and I haven't received any other responses on the post. Um, that's fine. If other people just don't have ideas, that's fine. I don't, that doesn't bother me. The amount of people who had ideas versus the amount of people who didn't, none of that bothers me. What bothers me is people acting irrationally because I told them no. And and now, granted, like I've mentioned before, this wasn't a first offense thing. If it was a first offense, it would have been a different story. And I was very diplomatic with him, and it was interesting to see that he didn't respond. And I said, look, I'm not talking so personally. I'm like, the no is not. The no is not meant to be offensive to your wife. It's meant to be a no because it's a no, and I would assume that you would want to know whether I used your idea or not because you responded and gave me the idea. And I mean, because if I was, if somebody asked me for an idea and I gave them one and they liked it, I'd like to know if they pursued my idea later on. And. Sure, it was instantaneous, but there was, you know, with the, it was pretty instantaneous with the no. But I gave it, I gave it about an hour or two thought. I gave it a thought of, wow, if I could, I could make some money, I could be good for Facebook, I could take a percentage out of it. Obviously, that's not, obviously, I know I can do that. But she explained that to me. She was very, but I think that. I will say, even though she wasn't the problem, she has been the problem in the past with other things, and and um, her husband has been the problem in the past as well, so I didn't want to have one in and one out. I felt that if I had one in, they would ask, why did you ban? If I left her in, she got 
if I left him in, I'd be asked why the baby white. So it's kind of a package deal thing. And as a result of that, they both had to go. I don't plan on lifting the ban. Um, oh yeah, and that's also, oh, I totally forgot. Before all this happened, I'm so sorry for this. Before all of this happened, I joined a, I joined another Doctor Who group. Or I joined a Doctor Who group. Um, I joined like six of them. And I was on this group for a good while. And I wrote an opinion piece about Chris Jungle and, and his um, delivery of the idea of the timeless child. And I had written posts for him before. Opinionated posts too, not just this one. You know, because I, I wrote uh, reviews and things on previous, you know, stories that were years older than, or ideas and even stories that were years older than this one that I, that I was writing about. But I wrote about a modern idea, writing about the Chibnall era and, you know, the appearance of the timeless child, or the, 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 the first time heard of the timeless child, the ghost monument. Sorry about that! Shit, I'm gonna get hit. So I, uh... Uh, sorry, it's just like got out of I was like, I sure hope that person didn't go rat me out. Um, I just felt that it was, you know, I just criticized the idea and he banned me. And I'm like, look, it's not, it wasn't anything personal to him. It's just, it's just an idea that I criticized. I could have. Criticize something older, and I think he would have been okay with it, but because I criticized that idea specifically, he wasn't so happy about it. And so, yeah. I, uh, I got banned from this, from this thing, and then I found another group, and it was like an Austrian group of people that hated and didn't like the guy. And, uh, I was like, look, I got banned. The only thing, and by the way, the post, I had to submit post for approval. I had to submit post for that guy's approval. And I had no problem doing that. That one didn't even pass approval. And I didn't notice I was banned until I wrote another post about something completely different. And, or I had another post to share about something completely different. And the triple thing, the, the criticism of the triple thing, it was just one criticism. It wasn't going to be like a... a I was going to continuously write these five, you know, these five or six posts about the timeless child in the ghost mind and why that's such a bad approach. I was going to write my post, say what I had to say about it, and move on. Move on to something completely different. Um, and he banned me for it. And it's like, look, this is a one-time offense. Even if it's even an offense, it's just a criticism, you know. I'm not like saying I hope Chris Chibnall's family is, you know, murdered. I don't want that to happen. I'm just, I'm just criticizing his, his writing ability. And that's fair. You don't have to do that. That's what makes the show fun. You know, when he does other things or takes other approaches, it's going to be a lot better. And I just... No, that that group, uh, that guy's an asshole. And I'm like, oh yeah, he'll kick you out for this, or this, or this, or this, or this. You know, he'll kick you out for a comment on the thread. He'll kick you out for your own post. He'll kick you out for anything. 
So I, I gained a few members in my group because of that. And I was like, look, if you really want some a group where people aren't going to kick you out, you know, my group is small, but it'll, I'm waiting for it to kind of grow. So I, uh, I, uh, so that was a band, that was a band that was undeserved. So I've gone from bands that are undeserved, bands that are undeserved, bands that I had to play. So I've had my, I've had my whole full rotation of being banned, and um, I and you know of being trolled. It's the, the, tro the, the trolling part was was the friends continually asking or at, you know like some of them are, some of it was adding their part, but others of it was like asking. But even when they added, it was like they were disappointed that I didn't include their part of the story in, you know, it's just, I just felt like it was, and they were also like, every post I wrote on Facebook, whatever it was, whether it's political, whether it was political, or whether it was, um, by the way, I publish all my, all my political stuff is published on my page. I don't go on political pages and write on here. And the reason I don't do that is because there are strangers on there that I don't know and I don't want to get in an argument with a stranger. I'd rather get in an argument with a friend. Because at least I know that person. You know? And I'm like, if I got to argue with him, I got like, something to get him back at. Like, well, you believe in this. Ha ha ha. You know? I get, I get, it's an even playing field because I know the person. But some stranger? No. You know? Even when I have a discussion, you know, I, to, I know the person's, I have an idea of the person's mind. And it helps me. Doing it, going on a political page or writing about either Biden or Trump or, or even something non-presidential related, I just don't like because I've, if it's something like Doctor Who related about a TV show, I don't care. It's a television show. It doesn't. It'll upset people, but it, it won't upset them as much as politics. So, so I just don't do that. I post my middle finger to you, Trump post. You're a pussy, by the way. Fuck you. You're a fucking idiot. Just, there's my, there's my rant. And by the way, you know, we're gonna keep counting, asshole. And, uh, I, I just, I, if you, if you guys have political pages, and you can, you can write, post, and, and debate people without offending them, or without the post offending people, good for you, but I'm very blunt when it comes to politics and what I think. I wrote a post about Lindsey Graham and throwing away $500,000 the other day. And, um, yeah. So, what I said about him, I'm not going to say on here, but that was on my page. Again, because the people who are my friends know my tone of voice and know how I feel about certain things. It shouldn't be surprised what I said about it to them. But if it's on a political page and, you know, say you have a new member, then it's like, well, I'm like, wait, this guy doesn't really like Lindsey Graham. Why would you say something like that? Lindsey Graham's the greatest. Lindsey Graham's the greatest. You know, and then a new member, then it's like they have to learn my, my view, you know, my point of view and my, my tone and things like that. And I don't want to. I don't want to put that on other people. The shows and TV shows and things like that, and the way my opinions change on fine or music, fine. Politics, no. That that and faith stay on my own page. That way, my friends know what I feel about those things, and that's it. And whatever you choose to do is your choice. So. Sort of, I, I highly recommend that you don't get trolled. Oh, and I also, I, I, uh, I banned, so I said that I banned somebody before this couple. And the person I had banned before them was, was a, uh, was a woman who was detrimental to my self esteem. And, and she wasn't so much detrimental on Facebook. But, you know, the things that she said, which 
not of which had anything to do with these girls. They were just in Michigan. I feel treats on like this post. There's things that I said like this is the word of God. And I don't I don't like that. I hope you don't treat other people who write things on Facebook like their views are as you know, are like change in five or six days, it, it shouldn't have that much weight on it. And although some of my opinions in ways I feel are very strong and you know that but they are it is just a post and um, it does stay there forever and it will stay there forever but still so I just I, I just I want people to understand that. And so so she got banned for things Tom said things that she said to me that were off Facebook related and I let it sort of dwindle around in my head. I figured the best way to get rid of them dwindling was to just ban her. And it hurts. It 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 hurts in the sense that like I feel like I often wonder if it's something I can resolve. I don't think it is. And I feel like I have to. I, because I've had sort of resolutions I've experienced with her in the past. And then similar behavior on her part comes up again. And I just, I just can't. You know, I, I just can't go through that cycle. So, I, I mean, I got rid of her. I banned her number from my phone. But I also, uh, I also banned her from Facebook. And, and these are, these are conversations that were not had on Facebook. They were not had on Facebook. They were right off of Facebook. And I do think it's important that if you have conversations with somebody off of Facebook, that are not so much disagreement conversations, but the person is being destructive to your self-esteem. Take them off of Facebook. Like, they don't need to be there. Even though it's a non-Facebook related issue, get rid of them, you know? So, I've had a lot of, I've learned a lot in the past month about banning, and I was looking for a topic to talk about today, and I felt this was and uh, I have more to talk about. I have a TV show I want to talk about, but I uh, I'm gonna save that for later on this week. You can expect another video from me later on this week because I wasn't I didn't post anything last week. And before I go, I just want to say that I think it's like the Stewart area here in Florida um, has made a, a green bike path so it's easier for drivers. I really, 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 I think it's either Stuart or Delray. I think it's Stuart. I really applaud them for doing that. Um, I'm really happy that COVID, it's a very, very destructive virus, and there's a lot of negativity in it, but I, I'm really, really happy that one of the positive things that has come out of it is consideration for cyclists. Um, I think that's one of its blessings. And a lot of curses. That's one of the that's one of the blessings of the, of the virus or of the pandemic. And I, for those that have lost people, I'm very very sorry that you've lost a loved one. And if you find that um, hard for me to find a blessing in all this, I'm sorry to hear that too. But I have to find light where there's darkness, and I think that's a big light, especially for me, somebody who's always ridden a bicycle. So, thank you so much. It is starting to rain now really hard, so I'm going to get going. This is Cycling Mike signing off. I'll, uh, I'll post in a few days. Goodbye.